AKA Bullets YouTube channel. Hurry up, now tell us why you're here. Kurt Busch Tire will start at pole position for the 13th race of 2011, but on lap 17, Chip Gearings would be out because of an engine failure. And on lap 23, Tommy Highbanks will also be out because of an engine failure. Six laps later, Ace Arrowhead would also be out because of an engine failure. And Joe Brickcheck would flip on lap 33. And Ryan Thunderbolt Jr. would be out because of yet another engine failure on lap 51. Kyle Busch Tire is 7th as of lap 59. Where he wrecks Carl Edwards! Why? And Matthew Overdrive would be out because of an engine failure on lap 124. This caused Jamie McCarry, Ernie Gearson, and Brick Hicks to all go down one lap. And Denny Carlin would lead the most laps this race, leading for 76 laps, and Cal Weathers would win the 13th race of 2011, with Kurt Busch Tire finishing second, his younger brother Kyle finishing third, Lightning McQueen fourth, and Kevin Carvick rounding out the top five. Kajimo Mikno is the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 32nd this race. TG Castlenut will start at pole position for the 14th race of 2011, and... Chip Gearings would accidentally cause a crash yet again. And Brian Vickars would get flipped on lap 115 because of Joey Legierno. Why? Casey Corner would go airborne on lap 139 because of Joey Legierno. Why? And Matt Karzith would be out on lap 139 because he spun out. And Kyle Busch Tire would be out on lap 144 because of Phil Texan! Hooray! And Terry Carboni would be out on lap 152 because of Brad Karzlowski! Why? And he would be out on lap 154 because of... Who is it? Phil Texan! Hooray! You wrecked two mean cars! And Eon Evenair would be out on lap 160 because of a cut tire. And Ernie Gearson would be out on lap 170 because he got too tired. And Kurt Busch Tire would wreck two other cars on lap 280. And Michael Kartrip would be out on lap 287 because of an engine failure. And Reb Meeker and Terry Carcass would wreck each other on lap 302 by accident. How'd this happen? And Ryan Newcar would of course go airborne on lap 326. And it was Kurt Busch Tire that sent him into the air. And Bobby Carboni would be out on lap 390 because of a cut tire. And Tony Gaswort is commenting on how everybody is wrecking out. Cal Weathers led the most laps this race, leading for 102 of them. And he would go on to win the 14th race of 2011 with Lightning McQueen finishing second and only losing by six inches. Clint Bocard finished third, Dale Earnhardt Jr. fourth, and Kevin Carvick once again rounding out the top five. And who was the last car to finish on the lead lap? It was Denny Carlin, surprisingly. And Kurt Busch Tire will start at pole position once again, but this time for the 15th race of 2011, where his younger brother Kyle would wreck a bunch of cars again. Why? And David Rudicar would go down 20 laps on lap 180 because of a slow pit stop. And Greg Beeple would lead the most laps this race, leading for 96 of them. But Denny Carlin would win the 15th race of 2011, with Matt Karzit finishing second this race, the mean yellow car finishing third, Jimmy Cables fourth, and Carl Edwards rounding out the top five. And Reb Meeker would be the last car to finish on the lead lap finishing 34th this race. Lightning McQueen will start at pole position for the 16th race of 2011 where Chip Gearings is once again out, finishing 43rd because of an engine failure. And Rev Rodages would be out because of a different engine failure on lap 41. And Mike Yankee Jr. would be out on lap 44 because of two cut tires. And Kyle Busch Tire made fun of him! Why? And Craig Shiftwright is very angry that Kyle Busch Tire is so immature, and Bill Gears would be out on lap 45 because of his engine failure. 
Ponchi Wipeout would be out on lap 77 because of yet another engine failure. And Jamie McCarry would be out on lap 163 because of Brad Karzlowski and Phil Texan would fail to wreck him on lap 207. Jimmy Cables would go down 10 laps on lap 314 because of a slow pit stop. And Kurt Busch Tire would lead the most laps, leading for 83 of them. And Lightning McQueen would take the white flag. But he lets Murray Clutchburn pass him. And then he goes on to win the 16th race of 2011. This is the first time since 2003 Murray Clutchburn has won a race. Breaking a nearly 8 year long winless streak. Lightning McQueen would finish 2nd this race, letting Murray Clutchburn pass him. Tony Gass would finish 3rd, Kevin Carvick would finish 4th this race. And who rounds out the top 5? Cal Weathers, the current points leader, will round out the top 5. And Lane Locke would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 36th this race. Kyle Busch Tire will start at pole position for the 17th race of 2011 and he's out on lap 1 because of Phil Texan! Hooray! And Carl Edwards would lead the most laps of this race, leading for 61 laps and Phil Texan will actually win his very first race, winning the 17th race of 2011. Carl Edwards would finish second this race TG Castle not third, Cal Weathers fourth, and Bobby Swift will round out the top five. Finishing fifth this race, and Mike Splatlopper would finish 42nd, the last car to finish on the lead lap. And Phil Tankson's crew chief congratulates him for his win. Same with Andrew Axler, who hasn't tried racing yet this season. Mark Carton will start at pole position for the 18th race of 2011, where Ryan Rodages would be out on lap 1 because of an engine failure. Brian Sparks would be out on lap 2 because of an engine failure. What next? Lap 3? Speedy Comet would be out because of an engine failure on lap 4. And Marcus Krenksler would get flipped on lap 55 because of Joey Laguerre. Why? And Ralph Carlo would accidentally wreck Carl Edwards and himself on lap 144. And Joey Laguerno would wreck a bunch of cars. Why? And Chip Gearings is commenting on how he was not the wreck magnet. And then he gets flipped on lap 400. Why, Joey Laguerno? Cal Weathers would lead the most laps this race, leading for 94 of them. But Bobby Swift would be the winner of the 18th race of 2011, with Cal Weathers finishing 2nd this race, David Raycar finishing 3rd, Matt Carzeth 4th, and Joey Laguno, the mean orange car, rounding out the top 5, and Doug Throttleman would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 34th, and Lightning McQueen will start at pole position for the 19th race. Robbie Gorvette would be out on lap 5 because of a cut tire. And Ryan Thunderbolt Jr. would be out five laps later because of an engine failure. Kurt Busch Tire would be sixth as of lap 15. Where he wrecks Phil Tankson. Why? And Jack DePost would be out because of an engine failure the very next lap. Because of Kurt Busch Tire would be 20th as of lap 19. Where he wrecks Mark Burnsley and Scott Speed. Why? And Rex Reveler would be out on lap 23 because of an engine failure. And Kurt Busch Tire would be 23rd as of lap 49 where he wrecked David Rudikar. Why are you wrecking so many cars? And Jeff Burnton would be out on lap 152 because he jumped onto the wrong spot. Lightning McQueen would lead the most laps, leading for 85 laps, but it wouldn't be enough to stop Paul Racedraft from winning his very first race. And Lightning McQueen would have to finish second this race. Recar Smith would finish third, Jamie McCarry fourth, and Matt Karzith would round out the top five. Chad Motorgas would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 34th. Mike Yankee Jr. will start at pole position for the 20th race of 2011 where Lightning McQueen 
would get flipped on lap 9 because of Kyle Busch tire! Why? And then on lap 31, his older brother Kurt would be 6th. And then he would wreck Bobby Swift, Tony Gaswert, and Cal Weathers. Why? And Brick Yardley would be out on lap 40 because of an engine failure. This would cause Brad Karzlowski, Jimmy Cables, Denny Carlin, who else? Kevin Carvick, and Casey Corner to all go down a lap. And Hank Weathers would be out on lap 73 because of Joey Legierno. Why, you mean orange car? And Martin Carx Jr. would get flipped on lap 91 because of the mean orange car, Joey Legierno. Why? And Phil Texan would be 17th as of lap 92. Who does he wreck? Joey Legierno. Hooray! TG Castlenut would be out on lap 105, and Matt Carseth would be out three laps later, both because of Kyle Busch tire. Why? And then his younger brother Kurt would wreck Carl Edwards and accidentally wreck himself on lap 114. Jeff Burnton would also accidentally wreck himself, but on lap 158. And Kevin Carvick would be out on lap 201 because of an engine failure. And then Kyle Busch tire would be out on lap 223 because of a cut tire. Because of Phil Texan. Hooray! And Bogart Hopscotch would be 21st as of lap 337. When he wrecks Samuel Serpentino. Of course he does. And Phil Texan? Why? This will cause Brian Sparks, Carl Clutchin, Ernie Gearson, Greg Beeple, and Jamie McCarry to all go down a lap. And AJ Carmeninger would be out on lap 351 because of an engine failure. And Mike Yankee Jr. would be out five laps later for the same reason. And Chip Gearings would be out with one lap to go. And Chip Gearings really thought he could finish the race. I believed in you too. And also, Brian Sparks would be the car that would lead the most laps, leading for 89 of them, and Speedy Comet would take the white flag. And then he's out on the final lap because he hit the wall too hard. And Rex Reveler would be the car that wins the 20th race of 2011. And as he won the race, he sang this song. Reb Meeker would finish second this race, Moray Clutchburn would finish third, Parker Brakeston fourth, and Todd Marcus rounding out the top five. Ricky Axel would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 16th. Cal Weathers will start at pole position for the 21st race of 2011, where Kyle Busch tire would wreck 12 cars! Why? But he would go into the catch fence on lap 113 because of Phil Texan! Hooray! Because he wrecked the mean yellow car. And the mean orange car would be out on lap 385. Samuel Serpentino would be 25th as of lap 391. Where he wrecks Bogart Hopscotch. Of course he did that. And Lightning McQueen would lead the most laps this race. Leading for 114 laps. But his friend Cal Weathers would be in the lead on lap 400. Before losing the lead to... Parker Brakeston, who would win the 21st race of 2011, with Rev Rodages finishing second, Lightning McQueen third, Carl Edwards fourth, and Cal Weathers rounding out the top five. And Samuel Serpentino would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 27th. And Jeff Burton, how were you in the air when you finished the race? Jimmy Cables would start at pole position for the 22nd race of 2011 and Chip Gearings would be out on lap 2 because of an engine failure. And Terry Cargus would be out for the same reason on the very next lap. And Marcus Cranksler would be out on lap 4 because of an engine failure. And Bruce Miller would be out on lap 6 because of a cut tire. Thomas Sanders would be out on lap 162 because of a cut tire. And Ryan Newcar, of course, 
goes airborne. And the caution that resulted also put Jamie McCarry down four laps. Robert Turner would be out next race on lap 173 because of a hard crash from Kurt Bushtire, who wrecked Bobby Carboni as well as himself on the same lap. Six laps later, Ralph Carlo would cause an accidental crash, and then Recar Smith would be out on lap 280 because of an engine failure, and Lightning McQueen would lead the most laps this race, leading for 220 of them, but Clint Bocar would be the winner of this race, winning the 22nd race, with his teammate Jeff Burnton just behind him in second, Lightning McQueen finished third, Brad Karzlowski fourth, and Bobby Swift rounding out the top five, and David Raycar would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 28th. Brick Yardley would start at pole position for the 23rd race of 2011, where Bogart Hopscotch would wreck nine cars on lap 83. Chip Gearings, as usual, is out because of an engine failure on lap 162. And Joey Laguerno, the mean orange car, would be out on lap 179 because of the result of a crash from a bad pit stop. The pity that was responsible for this pit stop will be suspended next race. Lightning McQueen would go down a lap because of this inconvenience, but on lap 322, he would be back onto the lead lap. Carl Edwards would lead the most laps, leading for 73 laps, but Ryan Newcar the Rocket would win the 23rd race of 2011, with Cal Weathers finishing second, Bobby Swift third, Kyle Busch tire fourth, and Brick Yardley rounding out the top five. Lightning McQueen would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 32nd. Ernie Gearson would be out this race and the next race, but before the race. Hooray! He wrecked the mean green car to X! And Cal Weathers will start at pole position for the 24th race of 2011. Kyle Busch Tire would wreck multiple cars on lap 8. Why? And Chip Gearings would be out because of another engine failure on lap 279. Doug Throttleman would go down a lap due to the inconvenience. And Lightning McQueen would lead the most laps, leading for 107 of them. He led the final four laps to win the 24th race of 2011 with his friend Cal Weathers saying this to him. And Cal Weathers would finish second this race. Bobby Swift would finish third, Carl Edwards fourth, and TG Castlenut finishing fifth. Rex Revler would be the last car to finish on the lead lap, finishing 37th. And here is the top 20 in points after two thirds of the 2011 Piston Cup season. <laughs> Remember to press the notifications button, which goes ring, ring, ring after you press it. And lightning strikes back. And that's as if you subscribed, of course. And thank you for watching this entire video. This is the opposite of 2010 in terms of the competition. Because Cal Weathers, Bobby Swift, Lightning McQueen, Kyle Busch Tire, and Carl Edwards all have enough points that they could still all potentially win the Piston Cup at the end of the season. Unlike at this point of last season, 2010, where Lightning McQueen was ahead by at least 500 points. And can you forget, he led in the points every single week. All 36 of them. But it seems that any race could change the leader in the point standings. And the next two videos, which will wrap up the 2011 Piston Cup season, will be coming out soon enough. Something that should have ended a long time ago is the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. The Ukrainian people did not ask for this war, and neither did their government. The only reason that there is a war in the first place is because of the tyrant, Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin, have you failed to realize that Russia is the biggest country in the world? Why would you need more land bullying 
countries many times smaller than you. And not only that, you are losing to them. Why don't you just stop this senseless war? It's not necessary. All of the destruction it has caused, nobody deserves to have their home destroyed. That is what's happened to many people in Ukraine. Their home was destroyed because of another man's selfishness. Vladimir Putin's selfishness. May Ukraine be granted victory in this war. And may all territories occupied by Vladimir Putin's tyranny has taken over Crimea, the Donbass, parts of Kherson and Zaporizhia Oblasts, as well as parts of Kharkiv Oblast. May all of these territories be returned to Ukraine. And may Ukraine be granted victory in this war very soon. Slava Ukraini! Heroyam Slava! Nechai Shvitsya Daritsya! Ukraini Peromoha! Glory to Ukraine! Glory to the heroes! May Ukraine be granted victory very soon!